I've been playing on my super flat survival world for almost 10 years now. I've got netherite armor, all the farms I need. I mean, my life is pretty cushy in this world, but I still die, like all the time. In fact, my statistics say I've died 224 times and my statistics have been reset several times over the years. So I got to thinking, could I survive if my super flat world was in hardcore? I've never played hardcore before, but will 10 years of super flat experience be enough to make up for my complete lack of MLG pro gamer skills? Let's find out. Flat core. All right, let's do this. Okay, certainly looks like a super flat world. So since we're in 1.18.2, we know that strongholds will generate so we can beat the game. And because strongholds always generate in the same spots on super flat, we can actually just rush the stronghold right now. So I'm pretty sure the closest one is at negative 175, negative 1660. So this way. Hopefully we run into a village on our way there. That would be very ideal. And now we're out of sprint. So this is gonna take a while. All right, the fact that we haven't seen a village yet is starting to concern me a lot. Aha, finally. Oh, and I think I see our stronghold. This is very convenient. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Bad joke, I'm sorry. All right, we're here, let's do this thing. There is like something so therapeutic about just starting a new Minecraft world and having to craft your wooden pickaxe. Let's get a sword going and a axe. Aw, kitty. Oh, perfect, we have a tree. Let's get our sapling right now. Man, this is so much easier than it used to be. Back when I started my super flat world, you had to find saplings in the blacksmith chest. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a pink sheep. We have a pink sheep. That's gotta mean something good. That's, that's good luck. Aha, finally we got a sapling. All right, we'll plant our sapling and let's go to bed before it gets dicey out here. I'm sorry, sir, but I need this. Are you sleeping with your eyes open, bro? Weirdo. All right, this feels pretty sketchy, but I'm gonna hit this guy and uh, pill her up. There we go, first iron. Now that we've got that, we can craft a bucket and we'll grab some water from this farm. Now that we have a water bucket, I feel comfortable going up to the stronghold to search for chests because I can always try to MLG water clutch if I fall off. But before we go up there, we're gonna need some scaffolding blocks. So I'm gonna dig up a bunch of dirt here. All right, we've got two stacks of dirt, so let's head up. All right, let's see. I see a chest over there, let's go for it. Multi-shot, smite four, and fire aspect two. Oh, and I just noticed that that village over there has a blacksmith, so we should go check that out next. I probably should have brought a bed up here. If a skeleton shoots me off, I'm, I'm gonna be toast. Unbreaking three, power four, thorns, quick charge, silk touch, okay. Ah, and there's the portal room. Okay, I've got one more chest to go. I'm out of scaffolding blocks, so I'm gonna start getting a little risky with it. Let's put on one of these chest plates before I forget. All right, I think we've cleared this, so we should be safe to jump down now. I actually wanted to trap a few villagers inside so we know they won't die. All right, we got a few of them trapped, so they shouldn't go anywhere. All right, guys, we're officially on day two. For some reason, Minecraft starts counting from day zero, so... We're kind of on day three. Let's go check out this other village with the blacksmith. Nice, we got a diamond. No obsidian though, and it looks like that was our only blacksmith. So I'll yoink one of these lavas and uh, return home, I guess. Maybe I should cover that up so I don't walk into it accidentally. I wanna make sure I have a good food source, so I'm gonna start putting together a farm. Oh yeah, and before I forget, I'm gonna make a shield real quick. I think that's something pro players probably do. I don't know. Seems like a good idea in hardcore mode. All right, I've cleared out space here for two different farms. I'm gonna do one for carrots for me to eat, and then one for wheat to breed cows and sheep. 
Ah, and it's raining now. Hopefully this doesn't turn into a thunderstorm. If I got struck by lightning and died, would I be the most unlucky hardcore player of all time? Let's hope we don't find out. All right, so we've got weed on this side and carrots on this side. I guess I can go ahead and craft these bones into bone meal. There we go, we turned four carrots into however many that is. Looks like it's dark enough to go to sleep again. And we didn't even get struck by lightning. So I'd say that's a success. All right, I managed to get a few more seeds down, but now I wanna go on a little mission. When we spawned into the world, I think I might have seen some horses, and that'll make it a lot easier to go around searching for villages. So I've got our saddle and our diamond horse armor that we got in the stronghold chests. I'm gonna go try and tame one of these guys. I really hope I didn't make this up. I'm, I'm pretty sure I saw horses. I don't know, man. I play too much super flat. It all looks the same. Wait a minute. There's a village? How did we miss this on our way out here? It must have been just out of render distance. Nah, it doesn't look like there's a blacksmith, but I do see another village out that way too. Once we get the horses, we can come back this way and check it out more. Aha! I knew it! I knew I remembered seeing horses. Oh, that is a great thing to see. Look at them all. Okay, we tamed our first one. Let's get the armor on him. This guy seems pretty slow. Let's see if the other ones are any faster. Oh, these slimes are very, very annoying. Okay, new plan. If I make all these guys tiny, maybe they will fill up the mob cap. Okay, I think that kind of worked, but now it's turning night, so we gotta move really fast. You know what? I'm gonna ride this horse over to that nearby village and go to bed real quick. It's just not worth the risk of staying out all night. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Let's bring a bed with us this time. We should probably just always carry one. All righty, we just gotta kill all these slimes again. We can finally tame these horses. Oh, okay, this one feels way faster. Yeah, I'm happy with this guy. This is a good horse. Give me that diamond armor back. Now that I have this horse, I feel truly unstoppable. So let's start heading back towards our base and we'll hit up as many villages as we can along the way. Not much in this village, so I'm just gonna kill the iron golem and call it a day. All right, let's uh, try this village. Some nice wheat here. Ah, home sweet home. That was a nice little adventure. We now have this amazing horse and we can go out adventuring much faster. I guess we need a name for you, huh? Old Diamond Daniels. I'm gonna work on doing a little bit of farming today. By the way, it's day six if you're keeping track. I'm gonna use some of the iron we got to finish off my full set of iron armor here. I feel pretty safe now, I guess. All right, not bad. This is actually starting to look like a real farm now. So it's turning nighttime again, but I really wanna get a lead for old Diamond Daniels over there. So we need some string. Yay, we got a lead for Diamond Daniels. Now you can roam free, away from those dirty, dirty sheep. All right guys, I'll be honest, I'm procrastinating. In a normal super flat world, I would have probably gone to the nether by now. You see up here in the portal room, there's a bunch of lava, plenty to make a portal, but this is hardcore. Right now, I'm in my comfort zone. I know super flat, but the nether is a whole other story. It's not flat at all, and it's really scary. So before we go to the nether, I'm gonna do a bunch of exploring. Villages have tons of food, plus iron golems to kill for iron, and if we get lucky and get a blacksmith, we can get diamonds and other valuables too. So I'm gonna take old Diamond Daniels out for about two hours and see what we can get. All right, Diamond Daniels and I are back from our adventure. And as you can see, I got a ton of food and a ton of iron from all the iron golems, a few emeralds as well, but there's no more putting this off. So I'm going to go into the nether now. I ended up getting most of the lava I needed for the portal from the blacksmith that I found, but the last few pieces came from our strongholds portal room. I went and got one last piece of lava from the portal room and now we just have to wait for this to catch fire. Hey! Into the nether we go. We're on day 17, by the way. Oh no! Ah, it's already scary. Ow! Oh god! Oh, this is so much worse than I thought already. All right, I wanna get some gold ASAP so that we have some gold armor to wear. 
Is this enough for boots? Yes. Oh, I see a piglin down there. We might be able to trade with him. This won't kill me, right? Oh, oh God. Stop it. Stop. Ah, no. Oh, oh, oh. Why? Take the gold. I give you gold. It's working. Ooh, a potion. Ooh, fire resistance. Okay, I needed that. Thank you. Thank you, my boy. Come on, Ender Pearls. Oh, I got string, which is actually really great because I want to craft a bow. And he also gave us spectral arrows. This is perfect. Okay, I traded a bunch of gold, but no Ender Pearls. So I may just have to get my Ender Pearls the old fashioned way in the overworld, killing Endermen. But we do still need to look around for another fortress so we can get some of those sweet, sweet blaze rods. Ooh, ooh, I see it, I see it. Nice, that didn't take long at all. Oh my God, oh my God, that was so scary. That was insane. Dude, I knew the nether was gonna be tough. A terrible fortress is right, man. Oh, I gotta stay focused. I'm gonna keep this fire potion handy. Oh, is that a blaze spawner? It is. Okay, I'm just gonna drink this. Oh no. Okay, they can't hurt me, they can't hurt me. I'm good. How long does this last? Three minutes. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, they can hurt me. Don't walk into them. Okay, noted. Oh, this is horrifying. I'm so glad I got this fire potion. I would be toast without it. Oh my God. Okay, we got our first blaze rod. H. For hardcore? H for hardcore. Wow, I love that. Oh no, I've only got 40 seconds left of fire resist. Okay, I gotta figure something out here. Okay, I think there's a way to like cheese this. Ah! Dude, this is, this is awful. My heart is racing, man. No, 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 no. No, this, no, 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 no. Oh my God. Oh, okay. I got all the blaze rods I need. Let's get out of here. Oh, I'm so happy to see that portal, man. Whew. But honestly, before we leave, I wanna give Piglin Trading one last shot. I think it would be kind of cool to get the Ender Pearls from Piglin Trading instead of from Enderman. <gasps> First trade, we got some. That's awesome. If I remember correctly, we already have one ender pearl that we got in a chest at the stronghold, but unfortunately our end portal didn't have any ender eyes already filled in. That means we're gonna need nine more ender pearls. All right, guys, we got seven ender pearls, but I think that's the best we're gonna do from piglin trading. So I'm gonna head back into the overworld. Oh. Home sweet home. All right, let's craft up seven eyes of ender. And we've got one last ender pearl in our chest. So we just need four more ender pearls and we should be good to take on the end dragon fight. Oh boy. You know, what's kind of funny is we got so much food from raiding villages that we never ended up using this farm. Whatever, it looks pretty, right Diamond Daniels? <laughs> yeah, a little close, buddy. All right, so I crafted up a few boats and we're gonna have to try and go out at night and catch Endermen in the boats. Ooh, two of them, two of them, three. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, got one. Oh, the creeper's with him, okay. We can work with that. Okay, got the other one. Oh, there's two more. Oh, this is perfect. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, that was so bad. Okay, okay, okay. No pearl, are you see? Oh, the, the zombie got it. Yes. No. Oh, that was so lucky. That was so lucky. Oh my God. Okay, just need a, just need one more pearl, I think. Just to be safe, I'm gonna grab another Enderman too. No. Where did that guy come from? Okay. Oh my God. Oh. That was insanely scary, dude. Oh, the last four eyes of Ender. Nice. Now we have all 12. All right, Diamond Daniels. Look after the villagers for me. It's been nice knowing you, man. I hope I come back in one piece. Goodbye, pink sheep. You've been a great friend to me, kind of. Wish me luck, I'll need it. I gotta be honest, guys, this feels like a death sentence. I have a feeling this is gonna go horribly wrong. Oh God, this is gonna be so hard. Oh no, silverfish. Uh, let me get rid of this. Stop it. Stop it. All right, guys, I really don't know if I'm ready for this, but it's do or die. Here we go. 
Oh no! Okay. We're like floating out here. Oh, I really hate when it spawns you in the middle of the air like that. Oh, this feels so sketchy. Okay, whew. My heart is racing. Okay, 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 I hear the dragon. We gotta destroy these pillars, so let's go for the low-hanging fruit. This is going surprisingly well so far. Famous last words. No! Who's- No, 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 no! What was that? I did not like that. Is someone after me? I don't think I looked at one. Okay, I, I think this will be easiest if I just pillar up. But we gotta be careful about this. Okay. Okay, we're up here. Please don't fly into me, dragon. Okay, it's perch. Perfect. I think this works. Oh! Oh, that felt so wrong. Okay, 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 okay. I'm just gonna water down. No, no, no! Ah! <laughs> I do not like when she flies near me. Okay, I think all we have left are these two cages over here. I really feel like there's a way to hit it. Through here. Oh, I did it! Let's see if I can get the other one. Ow, ow, no! Just a little dragon's breath, <laughs> that's all. <laughs> oh, it's, it's right where I wanna stand. I need that to go away. Can I hit it if I... Oh, I did it! Okay, I think that's it! Oh, and it's perching! It's perching, okay. I think you can sneak in through the back. Oh, this feels so wrong. I can't reach. Ah, I don't know how to do this. Oh wait, it's working! It's working! Oh my God, I'm doing it! Dude, I might actually, I might actually beat the game in hardcore. Please don't jinx yourself. Oh, it's perching again! Maybe I can do it again. I gotta be careful I don't get launched. Oh, this is so scary. Oh no! Oh, we're doing it! We're doing it! I can't believe I actually, <laughs> I figured it out. Oh, it's flying away again. Oh my God, I'm actually doing this. I'm actually doing this. How many arrows do I have left? 35? Oh, that's perfect. Oh, I'm, I almost looked at that Enderman. Oh, we got her. Oh. Oh. Oh my God, my heart. Okay, she's perched. Can I do it one last time? Oh my God, this might be it. This might be it. No, no, <laughs> we're one hit away. One arrow, come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes. Yes, dude. Oh man. I just beat super flat in hardcore. Guys, thanks for watching. I'm pretty close to 50K subs. If you liked the video, please subscribe. I'm shaking, I gotta go.